Hey everyone, Sam with Team Forflight here. Today I'm taking a look at track logs, and in particular their auto start, stop, and upload capabilities, which allow you to record and save your flights automatically. There are two settings involved in recording track logs. The Enable Start Stop Control setting, which shows and hides the record button and timer on the maps view, and the Enable Auto Start Stop setting, which is what allows ForeFlight to record your flights automatically. If both of these settings are enabled at the same time, track logs will be recorded automatically, but the record button will still be there to allow you to manually start or stop recording whenever you want. To record track logs automatically, open ForeFlight before you begin taxiing and leave it open until you finish taxiing at your destination airport. Closing the app or putting it in the background for an extended period of time can interrupt the track log. As you gain speed on the runway, the app detects a takeoff and starts a new track log, pausing the record button to light up. You may notice that the timer doesn't start at zero. This is because the app records your position before takeoff so it can include taxiing in the track log and the number you see on the timer shows how long it's been recording. Although the app knows when you land based on your speed, it will continue to record so it can capture your taxi from the runway to your parking spot. It will automatically end the track log after a certain amount of time or you can end it yourself by tapping the record button. As soon as your device connects to a Wi-Fi network after the flight, the track log is automatically uploaded to the ForeFlight cloud. From there, you can download it on your other devices and view it on the web or in third-party apps for a post-flight debrief. Track logs can only be uploaded when synchronized user data is enabled in more settings. If your subscription plan includes logbook, newly recorded track logs are automatically made into draft entries, allowing you to review or edit their information and then approve the new entry. You can disable this feature by going to logbook settings and turning off auto log track logs. Even with this setting off, you can always turn track logs into logbook entries using the Send To button when viewing a track log. You can read more about track logs in the Pilot's Guide to ForeFlight Mobile, or about logbook in the Logbook Guide, both available in-app under Documents, Catalog, ForeFlight, or on our website under Support. And if you still have any questions, feel free to send an email to team at fourflight.com.